Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we're going to be talking about the colours of the planets. So today I'm going to be talking about the true colours of the major planets. This is from the knowledge that we can get from the spacecrafts and also these are being analysed to be correct to this day. So let's jump right in and talk about colours. Mercury is grey. Mercury has no particular atmosphere, so basically we just see the rocky surface, which is basically just one colour. Venus is a yellowish white. We can only see the thick layer of colourless and featureless sulfuric acid clouds, but these clouds can sometimes show a little bit of yellow. The surface of Venus cannot actually be seen from space because of the thick clouds that engulf it. So basically Venus's colour is the cloud colour that surrounds the planet. Earth is light blue with white clouds, with a bit of green and with the deserts a bit of yellow. It has oceans and has light scattered by the atmosphere that make the Earth blue. Depending on the area of the individual picture, you can also see browns, yellows and greens from the continents. And of course you can see some of it covered by white clouds. Earth is by far the most dynamic and most unpredictable planet we can see from space. Mars is red-orange. This colour comes from the rusty rocks of the surface, since the clouds are very rare and thin. Mars has a very thin atmosphere, so you can't quite see the colour of it. It is mainly dominated by the dust of the red planet. Jupiter is basically orange with white bands. The white bands are coloured with ammonia clouds, while the orange comes from ammonium hydrosulfide clouds. Neither of the four gas giant planets have a solid surface so all we can see is just the clouds in their atmosphere. Of course Jupiter has the big red giant spot, which of course has been dominating its surface for centuries. Saturn is a pale yellow. White ammonia haze covers the whole planet, and it actually obscures redder clouds below. Currently Saturn's northern hemisphere is blue, Scientists think that this is because of the rings are blocking the sun in the north. This is because it's winter in the north of Saturn right now. Things are basically colder at that point, and the ammonia clouds are lower down than normal. This gives the rest of the atmosphere more of a chance to scatter light, just like the Earth's atmosphere does. Uranus is light blue. The colour comes from methane clouds in fact is one of the most featureless planets in the solar system. In some photos released in 1986 from Voyager 2, Uranus looked bright green, but that colour was artificial. Again, Neptune is light blue, just like Uranus, and this is again due to the methane clouds. The surface of Neptune appears darker than Uranus, simply because of the greater distance from the sun, it just simply gets less light. And of course I'm going to include Pluto. I know Pluto is not a planet, but because we've had a flyby this year, I'm going to include it, because we now know the colour of this dwarf planet. And the colour is basically light brown. So the light brown colour is the persistence of the dirty methane ice on the surface. Also, the assignment of colours can be somewhat subjective. For example, one person's blue might look like green to someone else. For this, astronomers use a very precise spectra, and this gives us the information of the object's colour. So, by looking at the New Horizons photographs, you can see that Pluto is light brown, white, and a little bit of dark brown. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into the colours of the planets, and the colour of a dwarf planet. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.